Hey Jules Plus Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So I'm going to talk about the importance of chewing in terms of digestion and I also want to mention that I broke my tooth <laughs> and that was because I wanted to chew. Oh my gosh I was just literally eating diced banana and pineapple and somehow that fork came up and my tooth broke. To be fair, both these front teeth are fake anyway, um, because I grind in my sleep. And part of that I attribute to a horrific um, boss that sadly got into my conscience and uh, tormented me <laughs> for years. <laughs> Luckily, I outlasted her, but she tormented me for years and it resulted in me grinding. And so both of those teeth were broken down anyway. I normally you have to pay. Um, because it's considered cosmetic, but it's their tooth, and I might be able to get them to honor that. I'm going to do my best from my mouth to God's proverbial ears. <laughs> All right, people, this is very brief. I just want to check in with my JBV community. That's Jules Plus Vegan. And let's go ahead. I'll include this in the description of the video. Digestion 101, the importance of chewing well. And a lot of this, this is from elementary school health. But were you listening in elementary school? <laughs> because I still teach at that level, I am listening. So it reads, the mouth is the first stage of digestion. Breaking down food and mixing it with some enzymes aids in what it is to follow. The main purpose of eating is to consume and absorb the nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy. Let's reread that sentence, shall we? The main purpose of eating is to consume and absorb the nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy. I mean, that's it, right? God's food. That's note to self. It doesn't say the challenge of eating food like products and hoping your body can figure out what to do with plastic. <laughs> okay. Chewing your food well will support your digestion. And I'm trying to, you know, I grew up, I was a little kid. I had 10 older brothers and sisters. A lot of the boys were over six feet at 12 years old, 13 years old. And it was just a race, you know, we'd set it up in a food line, you'd go and get it. I either got so much that I was like, what do I do with all this food? Or there were a few bites left, you know? Um, so even as a teacher, I mean, we literally get like 20 minutes for lunch. So everyone just scarfs down. The children scarf down, throw away half of it. Um, you know, it's just like I'm happy to drink smoothie as my lunch because I can drink much faster than I could eat. My salads can take me 45 minutes. Come on, who can relate? <laughs> For real. So it says a full complement of teeth, well aligned with healthy saliva flow and healthy jaw joints are also central to achieving the optimal first step for digestion. The physical process of chewing food in your mouth helps to break down larger particles of food into smaller particles. Increasing the surface area and making it easier for nutrients to be broken down for absorption. And part of my problem, and it's so sad because I never had a cavity in my whole life. I was so blessed, right? And I was a crest kid. But as I got older, a couple years ago, I found out crest test on animals, so I had to go with toms of Maine. <sighs> Sometimes you just don't want to know everything. <laughs> crest did me well. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's so sad to have such good teeth, never have a cavity, and then end up grinding. Because even right now, this whole row has barely any crevices or anything for really grinding the teeth, right? Um, so I, I, I'm just so sorry for that because I love the health of the mouth and I care for mine all the time. Uh, but there's consequences that I couldn't have prepared for, like grinding in my sleep. But yes, of course, I wear a protector now, but I didn't know. I didn't know to do it. I, I would wake up and there'd just be pieces of teeth on my tongue from the night. And that's why when this one broke, it was horrifically familiar. So chewing helps to reduce stress on the esophagus and helps the stomach metabolize and break down your food. 
Saliva also contains digestive enzymes that are released when chewing, which assist with digestion. Your mouth releases these enzymes that pass into the throat and stomach, which further improves the digestive process. Throughout the chewing process, the body undergoes several processes that trigger digestion. Digestion is one of the most energy-consuming processes of the body, so chewing your food well helps prepare the rest of the body, which is why they say, like, sleep is for restoration, not digestion. Like, you've got to stop a few hours before bedtime. Chewing reduces bacteria risk. I remember so many times where my father would be like, did you guys chew at all or just inhale? <laughs> it was just a race. <laughs> and I so get it. And so, yeah, as a teacher with barely a recess, as a child with a huge family, like so many reasons, I have to slow myself down and make sure that I'm starting, even with my smoothies, rinsing them around in my mouth before I swallow to get that digestive enzyme flowing. Chewing also reduces the risk of bacterial overgrowth. Lumps of food that aren't broken down properly can cause bacterial overgrowth in the colon, which leads to indigestion, bloating, flatulence, and constipation. Luckily, I have none of those, but I do look at my um, waist when I go to the restroom, and sometimes I can see things have not been broken down, especially something like corn. Um, you know, I almost wonder, like, Corn is a really tricky one to make sure that I've actually like chewed every kernel. It just doesn't happen. Chewing your food sends messages to the gastrointestinal system that food is on its way. A good, important way of telling your body to know when they're satiated, right? When it's finally satiated. Again, a step I tend to miss. This triggers hydrochloric acid production in the stomach, helping food move through the digestive tract. Chewing food thoroughly also helps relax the stomach by releasing saliva and allows the food to be passed efficiently into the intestines. This occurs once the stomach has done its work to break down proteins. Apart from improving digestion and the absorption of nutrients, chewing your food longer also has the benefit of giving your body a chance to process the fact that you are eating and consuming food. It has a positive impact on controlling weight gain. Yeah, because it says it takes at least 20 minutes from the mouth to the stomach to the brain to tell yourself that you are initially eating and certainly full. So for me, because I just don't have all of those things, and I hope I will in time, but I just don't, um, you know, the different messages and stuff, I just have to make sure that whatever I'm eating is within my calories and trust, you know, that my body will figure it out because honestly... I can eat a small country, enough for a small country. Like, it's astounding how much I can eat. And while it's really great to have calorie density, and you can look that up in, in under Jules, I have a great video on calorie density, with a ton of greens and vegetables that have barely any calories, that gigantic bowl of salad, and mine is gigantic. My husband calls it a bowl of salad. Um, it's still a lot of food and keeps my stomach stretched out. So the few times that I would end up binging on non-compliant food, let's just say that, I would still consume a tremendous amount because it's not like my stomach had to stretch. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, so it says people don't chew their food well for so many reasons, and here are a couple, and I'll have to agree. Number one, impatience. Hi, bell's about to ring and stress so yes the most obvious is if you're in a hurry eating food on the run in a rush or while stressed is a bad idea if you eat while you are stressed the part of our atomic auto, autonomic nervous system called the sympathetic nervous system the fight and flight reaction also reduces blood flow to the digestive tract so you are less likely to absorb the nutrients that is interesting and sad. You think about that. Number two, poor bite. Missing teeth or teeth that are poorly aligned reduce your ability to chew effectively. While this is not something people are usually conscious of, it just doesn't feel right. And subconsciously, 
It's not an easy or pleasant feeling. So eating quickly is an easy way out. Compare the two sets of teeth from patients to see which would be easier to eat. Yeah, and they've got some teeth right here. But see, yeah, that's kind of my story. Like, I've been noticing that I've been chewing on one side. And I know it's because these bottom teeth are grinded, you know? And and I believe me, I am not... I even had said to the dentist, so what are you going to do? Like, pull out all my teeth? Am I going to be having dentures when I've cared for my mouth my whole life? And he's like, no, no, no. Believe me, no. When I tell you these things, it's not detrimental. He's seen detrimental. My mouth is not that. And luckily, they have some new techniques where um, they will not have to pull more teeth. Uh, you know, they'll just be able to strengthen the ones they have. Bring it on. Okay, jaw joints. Uh, right? The temporomandibular or jaw joint. Let's go with jaw joint. <laughs> it's located just in front of the middle ear and separates the jawbone, which is the mandible, from the skull, which is the temporal bone. I still get that because I will wake up with so much pain in this area from grinding, which I so get. What separates these bones is a disc, a pressure bearing structure that is ideal for taking load, free of nerves or blood vessels. A clicking jaw joint, which I've never had, indicates that the disc is out of place and the click you hear when opening or chewing is the sound of the disc actually going into and out of place. Scary. Let me know if you guys are familiar. People are aware of it as a clicking jaw joint and it's referred to as an anteriorly displaced disc with reduction. The disc displacement is reduced or goes into place, but only momentarily. When a disc is out of place as you chew, there can be compensations made in one of those, maybe to eat quickly before the jaw gets too tired. Hey, I get it. I totally get it. If I was having that problem, I'd be compensating too. Mouth breathing. Noses are for breathing, but if you are a mouth breather, then this can create a problem when you eat. It is socially unacceptable to eat with your mouth open, poor form to say the least. Ideally, you should breathe 8 to 12 breaths per minute through your nose, which is not only good for your general health, but also allows you to chew food slowly. If you're a mouth breather and you have difficulty breathing through your nose and you still want to maintain friendships while you eat, then wolfing the food down so that you can breathe without a mouthful of food may be the solution. This is not ideal. Oh my goodness. I've always had trouble breathing through my nose. I mean, it's funny though, when I'm asleep and I'm calm, I naturally just breathe through my nose all night long. <laughs> but during the day, like, I did just inhale and exhale through my nose. I can do it. It's just not my first choice. I usually inhale through my mouth. Um, but I do have grace when I eat, so I don't know. Okay, worn teeth. The shape of the tooth and the way the upper and lower teeth meet makes for an extremely effective cutting or masticatory tool. Masticatory, which means breaking it down. They're just soft. They're just soft at this point. So a well-functioning, well-balanced masticatory system, otherwise known as your mouth, is an essential first step in good chewing and good digestion. Often the appearance of the teeth and mouth can give a clue as to the underlying digestive problems like indigestion, reflux, and heartburn. And praise God with a plant-based eating. I have none of that. But... And again, you can look up in my search. My, it's called GERD, G-E-R-D, right? And my, um, oh God, acid reflux, it was literally so bad. I would have acid coming out of my nostrils. I would literally, <gasps> trying to breathe from all that acid reflux. I even got an adjustable bed for the acid reflux. That is why I got it. So I could sleep sitting up and pray that I wouldn't wake up. But that was all from dairy, sugar, crud. So bad. Chewing your food from an early age, together with consuming a nutrient-dense diet, is vital for creating enough space 
For all the 32 teeth we have evolved to have, 16 teeth in the upper and 16 in the lower. That includes wisdom teeth. So for me, not only did these wisdom teeth never come down, but I don't even have to in the lower. I never did. So that's interesting. The size and shape of your mouth determine the size and shape of your upper airway, which in turn affects your ability to breathe well and sleep, which who has control over that? Nobody. Now, I still have Invisalign on and you can see all the junk glued to my teeth. And I'm still wearing those and will be wearing them for, I don't know, six more months. Um, but that's pulled my teeth together and it actually has started to align my teeth in a way that they haven't been. I mean, with so many kids in my family, a couple of kids got, you know, braces if they really needed them. But otherwise, we had great smiles and nobody cared about the rest. And just, you know, as an adult, um, at the halfway mark of my life, I decided, why not, you know? So, yeah, I'm grateful to be pulling my mouth together. All right, super interesting. What did you guys think? <sighs> it is so important, I know, to slow down and get that saliva and digestive enzymes going. It's part of my goal, and, and I think I'm doing it. What's great about raw vegan is that, at least for me, I can't help but slow down. I cannot get through that bowl of salad any faster. Now, a lot of people juice, so, and some people um, obviously uh, do their smoothies and stuff. And of course, you can get a bunch down very quickly. Um, but I like having to chew, you know? I really do. I like chewing my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner as much as possible. But I do enjoy a smoothie as part of my day. All right, my friends, this is Digestion 101, The Importance of Chewing Well. I'll put it in the description of the video. Like if you like doing this, if you haven't, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. And until we talk again, keep chewing. <laughs> and know that you're blessed.